Hello everyone, this is On The Fistulum, and I'm back. So anyhow... It's time to take care of the nightmare before Christmas. And yet... Though to be honest, this, this thing is more scary in the actual theme of the stage than any of the difficulty of the gimmicks. But I will still be providing a special for Christmas... a Christmas special... at the end of this video. So, and anyhow, let's take care of the terror man. Here we have a junkyard like stage. Yes, and of course, it looks rather scary if you're a robot and you've got scrap parts all over the place. <laughs> I'm not going to mention what the human equivalent is, and I honestly just noticed that moving figure in the background. It looks somewhat familiar, I mean, but I can't exactly put my finger on it. <laughs> yeah, this... yeah, that was not very well timed. But. Ouch. Neither was that. I'm going to grab that e tank because I really need it. And I'm okay, that was a rather lousy hitbox. I'm pretty sure I jumped into an invisible part of the hitbox there. And of course we have lots of spiders. Why? Because spiders are also scary. Believe me, I'm living with a mom and a sister and they're both really arachnophobic. Me, I'm just terribly annoyed by the spiders in this video game. Though, to be honest, spiders in real life, I find somewhat fascinating. But in any case, we've moved on past the spiders, for now at least. <laughs> and here we have an interesting mid-boss. I guess it's technically that. You just, for this one, you, all you have to do is avoid the spikes until they get in close enough onto you, then the two platforms under you will open up. You only really need to jump to avoid them if the spikes that are exploding, if the spikes that are flashing to indicate that they're about to strike are the bottom two or the two above it. Anyhow, here we have zombies. Be prepared for them. They are somewhat tanky and, though it, and they do take quite some hits, especially because you have to take out some body parts before the others. And yes, you would put an extra life in the pit. This is one other reason why they're so annoying. Oh, I gotta appreciate the little things. Alright, for you to come back so I can charge spam you. And make that jump correctly. You better make that jump carefully. Because it is actually possible to make it is possible if you're if you don't want to make that jump perfectly to make it to the bottom of that. However, there are uh, as you can probably imagine a couple of zombies waiting for you, and since I don't really need that extra life, I personally think it's not very worthwhile. Here, if I take you out from a distance. Man, are you tanky and annoying. And here we have just a typical checkpoint with an unexplained ceiling gap. And another mid-boss. Yeah, I think this is the single I think this is the single stage with the most mid-bosses. You'll see more later. We have more back. And a few bugs I'd very honestly rather take out with a level 3 charge shot, not a robot master weapon. And you really can only do that when the handle of the fuse thing is at the top, so that's honestly not too hard to time it like that, just... And here I can just take out much more easily. Thank you. And a rather pointless one-up. This one... 
I know it is possible to do it without the rush coil, I just find it really difficult and prefer to do it. And here, you actually want to slide from that one block to the ladder, mainly because of the really low distance between the block and the ceiling. And here, be prepared as a bat is going to come at you immediately. Thankfully though, if it misses, it'll if you miss it, that is, it'll fly up to the ceiling and you won't have to deal with it. Haha. Uh -huh. This one, however, not so much. Here, go here. Can you rather you just take out? Now here, although there's no real indication for it, you want to go immediately to the right. You'll see why. Whenever you see those exclamation marks, you know a Wig Wily machine. I think they were from Mega Man 4. You know they're going to come along. They can take they can take out all of the zombie enemies, but be careful because they can also take out half of your health. <laughs> I'm honestly not so sure why they don't have any indicate. Okay, that was just funny. The zombie just got. The zombie just got owned as it was coming up. Anyhow, one just, anyhow one thing is, if you saw, there was no, no there's no real indication at the begin at the beginning room where you saw the where you saw the skull machines coming at you. So they really should have some sort of indication saying you should go right while you, before you lose your time to think and react and <laughs> get practically smashed by the wily machines. They do take out half of your health bar, which is more than the death spikes. Then again, that does make sense because, well, you would probably expect death spikes to do less damage than having a gigantic truck-like skull machine ramming into you. But in any case, we're past all of those. For some reason, now that we're in an adjacent room, they don't seem to be coming at all anymore. And we're at the next mid-boss. I guess technically. Ow. Yeah, that thing can be hard to dodge if you're trying to dodge the tails and the shots. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to give enough shots to the head. When it does that, it'll explode and um, possibly drop a power-up. However, it will still remain and it will head in one of three directions, right, down, or left. And you want to follow it wherever it goes. Eventually, it'll fall... I mean, it'll usually take you to the same to the same design of room, and you'll have to fight this thing again until eventually it'll lead you downwards into a shoot fall where you'll be able to uh, go to the, go on to the next part of the stage. This is somewhat of an interesting thing where you have a looping set where you have a looping room that is broken only by having defeated a certain enemy. Okay, one up, I'm taking you. Thank you very much. I just love a full health bar. And we're already past that. Now, here we are, moving on into an auto-scrolling section. With zombies. And birds. Of course, ways to make this annoying and difficult. And I'm honestly not risking this, the rush coil. Well, that was clumsy. Thank God I'm high up on lives. Also, they apparently brought back Gamma. See? I mean, it's really interesting though how in Terrain Man stage, they had some recycled mid-bosses from earlier Mega Man games, and from, and from this stage we have two big bosses. From the ah. Well, I made that jump. I honestly, some I've missed that jump a lot of times that I wasn't that I doubt my serious uh, that I seriously doubt my ability to make it at all. Oof. But thankfully, I was lucky and I made it. Of course, it still isn't as bad as the jumps in Power Man stage, especially since with the conveyor belts and everything, 
it was it wasn't really easy to break it with rush coil, but thank god I was able to make it through that anyhow. And we're already through. Apparently that wasn't too bad. Here we have oh so generously an extra life. Or extra energy. And a somewhat easier. I don't know. For some reason I find that if you just jump and then alternate, this mid-boss becomes easier. Anyhow. Yes, I am losing Rush Coil here for a reason. Assuming I can get him on the correct platform. There you go. Yeah, that jump is really difficult if even possible to make without the Rush Coil. And you don't get a checkpoint until after you make it past this point into here. And so any... And so that's why I had to use it. In any case... Since I didn't get to show off any of it in the actual stage, Photonage time against the boss Terraman. Even though, in spite of having the Crypt Man in him, he's not weak to anything. Not even the Crypt Pro. However, it does have a pretty strategic usage. It takes out the spiders he summoned. Yeah, I'm also, I'm also trying to do this no damage for a specific reason. From what I've heard, defeating these robot masters as well, no damage does actually make up for the beat part, so... Eh, that was close. <laughs> also note, these were his three attacks. Ugh. Yeah, I just want to take a time to explain it since it can be a bit hectic, I mean... His three attacks are 1. He summons two spiders from either side of the room. B. He throws his spider fangs. And 3. He does his invincible spider hanging. You know, I'll try doing other weapons in the meantime. The reason I like the fence... Oh, you seem to be doing this a lot. Okay, now this was just simply evasion. He's invincible while doing this, so... <laughs> you just you really need to avoid this, that's all, and you'll usually only do it three times. Oof. I think I'll try it. Photonage! Since I really do not want to take damage here. That was a pretty close evasion. Again with the big spider hanging. That was pretty close. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was pretty close. But yeah, this guy has a pretty simple but hectic pattern of attacking. Trying to throw Tony last one last time. Yes! Yes, I wanted to check that this would count. See if I can do this no damage. Yes, I did it! Yes, and for what I've heard, you can actually get a beat part from actually doing this. Although it doesn't explicitly say it. So now, let's see if I'm right. But first, let's take the moment right now to see that they all recombine to form Death Man. But we'll be doing him later. In any case, have word save, save. And yes, I'm correct. Apparently, you can defeat any boss, no damage, and get the perfect B, E, A, or T parts. And so that's really nice. Anyhow. I guess that's all I have to say for now, other than the Christmas special bonus coming up real soon. But in any case, this is Alna Fistulum, signing out. Arrivederci! And now for the extra special. To be honest, I may have mentioned, I may have overglorified this a little bit. It's essentially a piece of Christmas fair not for Mega Man Rock Force featuring Mega Man, Dr. Light, and Justice Man 
and all in Christmas dressing. Mainly Mega Man in the Blizzard Attack coloration and a carrot nose. <laughs> Dr. Light as Santa. And interesting trivia. Or originally, Dr. Light was designed to appear like Santa Claus. And Justice Man as a reindeer. And I thought this was pretty interesting, something I made. A, I honestly didn't make... I honestly didn't have that much time to put to create something too great, though. This is what I managed to conjure up. <laughs> Anyhow, I guess this also presents some th some opportunity for if anyone watches my video and is a bit better than this in terms of actual drawing and in, in terms of actual art I will actually be accepting what's known as fan art for my channel so if you have anything I will gladly appreciate and sub and accept whatever you submit <laughs> anyhow I guess that's it for the most part Though, anyhow, have a wonderful winter break, everyone. Thank you.